Imagine a source of energy so powerful that it could fuel an entire civilization. Sounds like science fiction, right? But what if I told you such thing can actually exist in our universe one day? That's right, we're talking about black holes. Today, we're diving into one of the most mind-bending questions in science. Can we actually harness energy from black holes? So buckle up, because the answer is much more interesting and mind-blowing than you might expect. What if we can harness energy from black holes? So what would it look like if we were able to get energy from black hole? Well, picture this, a city that never runs out of power, space travel becoming as common as a cross-country flight, and scientific advancements beyond our wildest dreams. Black holes, these cosmic giants, hold a secret. They are incredibly dense regions of space where the gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. But here's where it gets interesting. Despite their dark reputation, black holes might actually be a source of immense energy. How could we do it? All right, let's get into the scientific stuff. Let's dive into the cosmic tundra. There are two main ideas of how we may be able to generate energy from black holes. First up, Hawking radiation. In 1974, physicist Stephen Hawking proposed that black holes aren't entirely black. They actually emit a faint glow of particles due to quantum effects near the event horizon. If we could capture this radiation, we might be able to harness its power. Crazy, right? But wait, there's more. Secondly, enter the Penrose process, named after physicist Roger Penrose. This process involves extracting energy from a rotating black hole. The idea is that if we can send something into the black hole spinning region, it could split into two particles. One would fall into the black hole and the other would escape with extra energy. The escaping particle could potentially be used as power source. Sounds like science fiction, right? But it's grounded in real physics. Why can't we do it yet? Now, let's get real. Why aren't we still not yet harnessing the power from the black holes? Well, there are huge obstacles standing in our way. Firstly, black holes are incredibly far away. The nearest one is over 1,000 light years from Earth. Even if we had the technology to reach it, we'd need a way to withstand the extreme conditions near a black hole, where the gravity is intense and space-time is warped. And then there's the problem of capturing Hawking radiation or harnessing the Penrose process. The energy produced by Hawking's radiation is minuscule, way too small for our current technology to detect, let alone use. As for the Penrose process, We'd need an actual black hole with a specific spin rate and we'd have to be able to get close enough to interact with it safely. The tech needed to achieve this, to put it mildly, is out of our reach for now. The future of black hole energy. So does all of this just mean black hole energy is just a dream? Not quite. While we're not there yet, researchers are continually pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Advances in space travel, quantum physics, and material science could one day make harnessing black hole energy feasible. Imagine a future where we solve these cosmic problems and unlock the power of the universe itself. Conclusion Harnessing energy from black holes might sound like stuff from science fiction, but it's a fascinating area of research with the potential to revolutionize our world. While we're not there yet, the journey to understanding these cosmic giants could lead to incredible discovery. So stay curious, keep learning, because nobody knows what the future holds. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe, comment on what I should cover next, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.